Russia complained following a missile strike on the Saki airfield in occupied Crimea, admitting it lacks time to build proper shelters. Russia's lament highlights the significant impact of the strike on the Russian airbase, which houses the 43rd Separate Naval Assault Regiment with Su-24M and Su-30SM aircraft, Defense Express reports. The Russian mill blogger Fighter Bomber noted that the airfield services now require at least two armored vehicles to evacuate the wounded under dangerous conditions where ammunition might be exploding. This detail adds insight into the severity of the strike. Additionally, Fighter Bomber mentioned that the delay between reconnaissance and strike by the Ukrainian Defense Forces has decreased to six hours, necessitating the movement of aircraft every five hours or relocating them out of missile range. Despite this, systematic successful attacks by Ukraine with long-range drones pose a continued threat to Russian aircraft. Amidst these operational challenges, Russia faces a significant issue. It lacks reinforced concrete arched shelter structures for aircraft like the Su-27, Su-30, Su-34 and Su-35, a problem persisting since the 1980s. Moreover, reports indicate that tourists are taken to a beach camping site through the airbase territory near Saki, comprising secrecy. This situation underscores the juxtaposition of military facilities with tourist sites, a standard occurrence that further complicates security measures. Now there is an additional reconnaissance of this strike, but we can preliminarily say that ammunition depot was targeted and as far as I know, it is detonating. Several enemy aircraft that are located at this airfield could also be damaged, Serhii Bratchuk, the speaker of the South Ukrainian Volunteer Army said. Bratchuk recalled that before that, the Saki airbase had been hit in January and the occupiers may have hoped that there would be no strikes on it in the foreseeable future. As Bratchuk said, they did not even have time to launch their aircraft for defense. There have been at least 16 of them at the airfield recently. We are talking about the Su-34 and Su-35, but it's not just about aircraft. Here, it is necessary to understand, in my opinion, a more serious thing. Aircraft were damaged, and it is good when aircraft are being shot down or destroyed. But, in my opinion, the main thing is to destroy airbase infrastructure, because this is what ensures the flights of these aircraft. There will be no infrastructure, there will be no takeoffs, and moreover, there will be no landings. And at a minimum, the enemy will move their aircraft to a longer distance, for example, to the territory of the Russian Federation, which increases both the approach time and the ability of Ukrainian air defense systems to respond in the event of an enemy air attack. And most importantly, our people will have more time to hide in a safe place, commented Serhii Bratchuk. On the night of July 26, explosions rang out in various regions of Crimea occupied by Russia. Shortly before that, a ballistic threat was declared. The Rostov and Kursk regions of the Russian Federation were also under attack. According to local residents, they heard the first loud explosions in Novofedorivka, Okunivka and Simferopol. Subsequently, the Crimean Wind Telegram channel published a video of the confirmation. There was also information about a fire at the Saki airfield in Novofedorivka. It is reported that one of the drones flew to the village of Nesvite, 15 kilometers from Rostov, where a fire broke out as a result. The grass is believed to have caught fire, one of the reports said. Subsequently, powerful explosions rang out in the Okunivka region and in Simferopol. And in Sevastopol, which was occupied by the Russian occupiers, the local authorities reported an attack by an unmanned aerial vehicle. The Russian Defense Ministry traditionally reported on the interception of drones. During the past night, air defense systems on duty intercepted and destroyed four UAVs over the Rostov region and two over the Kursk region. Despite this, Russian telegram channels published dozens of videos with the consequences of drone attacks. Also, the Ministry of Emergencies of the Russian Federation announces an explosion at a gas production enterprise in Yenau, but this incident is in no way related to the drone attack. There was an explosion in the condensate processing plant. The fire is contained, open burning is contained. The fire was given the two degree of complexity, the report says. Very low. Very low.